This week, how to take a safe selfie, wildlife affected by Hurricane Harvey, and repopulating India's Manas National Park. Coming at you now on Animal Matters. Hey guys, sorry. This lighting is perfect. Got it. Sorry, I'm back. Selfies are like social currency. Did you know that you'll get, on average, 38% more likes on your photo if your face is in it? I did. You know what shouldn't get you more likes? A dead animal. Yeah, no duh, right? Well, according to the Washington Post, the people in Argentina who passed around this baby dolphin until it died apparently didn't agree. And neither did this guy in India, whose picture appeared in the India Times after he was trampled, trying to get close enough to a wild elephant to take a selfie with it. And then here in the US, we let people have tigers, just in their yards. And those people sometimes charge other people money to take selfie while they, to selfies while they pet or even feed these tigers. And you may be thinking, I've seen those bottle feeding photos on social media, they're super cute. Want to know what is not super cute? Earlier, they probably starved that little cub so it would drink from the bottle for hours. And that's not the worst of what happens at these roadside zoos or pseudo sanctuaries. Not by a long shot. And we don't want you to think that we're anti selfie here at IFA. We want you to get your selfie on, just safely. That's why we launched our Practice Safe Selfies campaign. Will you pledge to keep animals safe while you snap? Sign your name and post your selfie. Use the hashtag SafeSelfies and you might see your face on our feed. Moving on to India. This is a rhino named Jamuna. When we first met her, she was only three months old. She was rescued from raging floods in Kazaranga National Park by our IFA Wildlife Trust of India team. She was anxious and confused and had wounds from a predator all over her body. But we saved her. I'm not sure if you know this, but when you rehabilitate a baby rhino, it's a commitment. Jamuna and two other female rhinos rescued around the same time were hand raised to ensure that they'd grow and thrive. And grow, they did. Jamuna and her two gal pals were the first hand reared rhinos ever to have been rehabilitated in the wild in India. That is huge. But the story doesn't stop there. Let's go on to India's modest national park in the year 2001. And due to civil unrest, Local wildlife, including the rhino population, had been completely devastated. Manas, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is an insta-snap-worthy park on the foothills of the Himalayas and provides habitat for 22 of India's most threatened species of mammals. But it barely had any rhinos. Yeah, what? So IFA and our partners went about fixing that. In 2006, we moved Jamuna and her pals into Manas, and soon enough, they all got used to their new surroundings, they felt comfortable, and then, back to the photo of Jamuna, I didn't show you all of it, I'm very sneaky, she just had a baby, people, her second baby to be exact. And this newborn marks the sixth birth under the Manas project to date. It's working. Rhinos are coming back in Manas and they're bringing lots of other wildlife back with them. Thanks to Jamuna, we're repopulating the park, one rhino at a time. Say hello to Oswald. Somehow that's a really appropriate name for a stork, don't you think? Oswald fell from his home in a tree and got injured. He was brought into the CWRC for rehab and spent his first few days in an incubator. But I am now happy to report that he is out of the incubator and progressing well. He's eating and drinking from a bowl. Due to high winds that broke branches off nesting trees or blew birds from nests, CWRC has admitted 151 storks since August 5th. Holy storks, that's a lot of storks. We'll keep you updated on Ozzy as his rehab continues. I can call him that, right? Ozzy, Waldo, Oz? I like Oswald. Oswald, okay. Well, we'll keep you updated on Oswald's progress so you can cheer him on as he reaches his rehabilitation milestones. Team Oswald fan club. Woo. Moving on. During catastrophic events like Hurricane Harvey, Many organizations are on the ground to support those animals who are left behind. Dogs, cats, horses, and other pet animals. But what about wildlife? 
Sure, they have their well-honed instincts to flee, adjust, and survive, but many simply can't compete the devastating winds and the rains of a massive storm. Yeah, saving a 150-pound mastiff was really awesome, but we also strive to help wildlife because every animal contributes to a community's balance and well-being. This week, we're proud to have collaborated with Animal Rehabilitation Keep, that's ARC, who lost their facility near Corpus Christi, Texas last week. They had to evacuate with patients like sea turtles, marine birds, and more. But the staff and volunteers haven't let that stop them from rescuing injured, orphaned, and displaced wildlife. Partner orcs have helped them with the physical space, and their life-saving work continues. ARC is determined to rebuild, and we're going to help. We're supporting them with an emergency grant made possible by the Disney Conservation Fund and IFAL supporters like you. You guys are so awesome. And here in North America, we're preparing for Hurricanes Irma, Jose, and Katia. We hope everyone stays safe and dry. Finally, get a load of this guy. This is a pangolin. A what -a, a pangolin! You guys may have never heard of him, but he's the most illegally trafficked mammal on the planet. That's a big title for such a little fella. There are eight species of pangolin. All of them are threatened with extinction. Oh, and by the way, it's illegal to trade pangolins or pangolin parts. But poachers have not gotten the memo. In fact, just last week, Reuters reported that 136 pangolins were seized in Thailand. The good news, they were alive. The bad news, they were smuggled, which means that somebody somewhere wanted them and not for anything good. So when penguins feel threatened, they roll up in a little ball to protect themselves. When IFA hears that penguins are threatened, we do the opposite. We get wide. We are working all over the world to make sure penguins get the protections they deserve and the habitats they need. We're training enforcement officers to handle illegal trade cases, and we're working to reduce the demand. For penguins, the smuggle is real. But we've got their backs. And speaking of backs, I'll leave you with a pangolin. Swimming, which is unequivocally the cutest thing you've ever seen, after Oswald. And if they're not your new favorite animal by now, what is wrong with you? We can cover that next week, because that's our report for this one. Animal Matters airs live every Friday afternoon Eastern time. For updates, check out ifaw.org, and follow us on Twitter at action for ifa Remember, animals matter to people and the planet. Join us and be part of the solution.